Hello my lovelies, welcome or welcome back to the channel. Today we are doing pattern and I thought I would throw in um, opposite just because I can. And oh yeah, it's Junk Journal January and <laughs> here we are. Uh, it's a challenge by Meg Journals and um, in collaboration with Get Messy Art. And so I decided in my infinite wisdom to make my own pattern. So I had recently just got some ink from my wish list. So thank you, Tanya, for the ink. Um, because I just always, I have some stamps, but I've been using my markers to like do them. And it's long, it's tedious and long and um, I don't appreciate it. So um, thank you so much for getting me the ink. I got these colorful ones. I think it was a pack of like 12 and then I got four like the distressed fancy ones so I'm just using kind of the colorful ones right now because I my daughters were right next to me <laughs> um a lot of times when I'm doing art they're next to me as you have seen in the past um this particular day was very um hard because it was raining and cold outside and we had been cooped up in the house all day so they were just you know running amok and lots of whining and so i'm like okay we need to reset this day let's go create something because we need to divert the energy the negative energy make it go away <laughs> um so i took this challenge in kind of two different ways so i'm making a pattern with my stamps obviously which i got some of these like clear stamps from a sticky club subscription i had it a couple years ago i think i'm gonna eventually go back to it once i have you know the funds because i do love stickers they're my favorite thing but until then i do have all these like leftover stamps that i'm like what am i gonna do with these so they've just been sitting in a drawer so i'm happy that i have them back so the the picture the page i chose in my journal to use um had like taxis on it and you know when i think about taxis i think busy city um you know the hustle and the bustle people trying to get to where they need to be as fast as possible and the stamp i chose was this cute little mushroom guy who's just relaxing reading a book having a snack so not only is he relaxing He's also like nature. I'm putting some flowers to, you know, have that nature element still in there. So I thought, okay, city versus nature, busy versus relaxing. So I thought that would be fulfilling the prompt. But then I also later on, I add some purple. And if you know your color theory, you know, purple is the opposite of yellow, just like green is the opposite of red. So there, it makes them kind of complementary. So later on, I do do that. Um, I do wish I had done my little mushroom guys a different color because the color of the ink was very close to the color of the paper that I was using because I don't have white paper. So I have this like aged paper. So I feel like I should have made the mushroom guys purple. But oh, well, it's too little too late. We always have, you know, but I still think it came out cute and I like it still. Um, I went in and used some, my daughter's colored pencils are right there. So I'm like, I'm going to color these daisy centers green for whatever reason. Because I just felt like I had too many like yellowy colors <laughs> between the taxis and the paper and the mushrooms. So I definitely should have thought that out a little bit more uh, or, or tested it before, you know, oh, here's a swatch of it before I commit all the way because the ink itself looked like it was going to be like a light brown, but it turned out way more like golden than I anticipated. Um, but hey, you live, you learn. I'm new to stamping. I hope that in the future I will, you know, figure it out a little bit better and try to incorporate stamps into my spreads a little bit better. Um, but not bad for a first try. And I think it still fulfills the prompt and, I feel like half the the beauty of art is experimenting and trying new things and sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't. So is this going to be my favorite spread of all time? Nah. But did I still enjoy the process of doing it? Absolutely. And that's the whole point, right? Is to have fun and to not take it too seriously. I'm not, you know, this isn't the Met. <laughs> 
And this is me gluing it again because I thought it wasn't glued, but it was glued. I was like, oh, whoopsie daisies because the paper is just really thin. So I thought it wasn't sticking, but it was. <laughs> um, I am going to add some purple stars, which hopefully you'll see me in a minute. Cause I was trying to feel like, Hey, what this is missing something. Like I need something else. And my daughters were stamping right next to me and they have like a kid set of stamps where they're like on wood. So, Oh, but not before I round those corners. Cause I am now obsessed with my corner rounder. If case you did not know. <laughs> um, but yeah. So the only thing about my children's stamps that I ended up using is they're on wood. So they're like block ones and it's really hard to get just the image without also kind of getting the corners of the wooden stamp um and if I was super fiddly I could have like wiped the edges so that didn't happen or maybe I pressed down too hard but I kept getting you see you see I keep getting that like outside ring so it kind of ruined it for me I feel like if I had just gotten the stars I would have liked it a little better but I got like that kind of corner edge and I was really trying but if I didn't press hard enough that it it didn't like go I think I got like maybe one or two perfect ones and the rest were kind of like Pfft. um so that was a bummer and I just didn't have the patience or time to like keep wiping down the corner so I just kept going I was like hey whatever <laughs> we're not going for perfection here it's already ruined <laughs> um and then I think later on, I'm going to add like some dots because there was still too much like empty space. So I added some like aqua and light blue dots to do something. I don't know what I was expecting it to do, but it just didn't seem finished yet. Um, but that's also sometimes my problem of being like such a maximalist. I don't know when to stop. Uh, so yeah, that was a little bit of a bummer, but I still like, like I said, I still like the process. I still like the idea. I just think the execution wasn't stellar. It's not my best work y'all, but Hey, you live, you learn, you move on and try again next time. I do want to, um, maybe in the next couple videos bust out. I did. I, I got some stencils like from the dollar store, you know, Cause I like to try out new things, but I don't like spending a million dollars to do it. Um, so I have some stencils that I'm probably going to bust out soon. Cause I got inspired by creating with Jovi. So those will come soon, hopefully. And you can see me, uh, struggle <laughs> with those as well. <laughs> uh, but then I just wrote pattern and opposites in purple just to kind of bring out the purple a little bit more. And that's pretty much all I did to it. Oh, except for I added more dots. But yeah, I didn't really do anything else. I felt like I could have done put something over top of it, but I really wanted the pattern to be the focus. So that's what I did. But um, that's pretty much it. There's a little close up, but I will see you in the next one, guys. Bye.